In today's video, I want to run you guys through a brand new PlayStation Store sale that just launched coming off of the Villains Takeover as well as the Golden Week sale. This sale is a little bit more of a disappointment. A lot of the deals are actually carryovers from the Villains Takeover sale and some of the deals are actually the same deals except more expensive. So figure that one out. However, there are some gems that I wanted to mention. So we'll take a look at that. Also, got some great physical game deals for you guys. Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age as well as Quantic Dream Collection are discounted pretty heavily on Amazon. And then for those of you that want a base PlayStation 4 console, there is a great deal on the Marvel Spider-Man bundle over on GameStop. Would highly recommend that if you're looking to buy a console for yourself or you're looking to get another console, buy it for a friend, whatever the case may be, great deal on that. And then for a lot of you guys, with all of these game file sizes getting bigger and bigger, I have a deal on a WD Elements Portable 2 terabyte external hard drive. So you can use that to install more of your games. There's also a free set of themes and avatars over on the PlayStation Store for Puyo Puyo Champions that's just about to drop. And we've got the latest update for PlayStation now adding a slew of new games as that is continuing to become more and more of a compelling service. We'll go over that at the end of this video. First up, we have a little bit of a head scratch with the Ubisoft publisher sale. Now, the reason it's a little bit of a head scratcher is because some of these deals are actually directly similar to the deals that were available during the Villains Takeover sale. It's just that they're more expensive. Yeah, so some of the deals I would stay away from are deals such as Far Cry 5, which is 65% off for $20.99. Literally, this was just available for $14.99. So they literally just bumped up the price by $6, as is the case with Watch Dogs 2. It's 75% off, but it was 85% off as a part of the Villains Villains take over sale, so that is available for $14.99 right now. Still a really good deal. Watch Dogs 2 is a great game, and I would recommend it at $15, but it was just available for $9, so obviously that's a little bit of a hard sell. However, there are some other deals that are worth to know. Tom Clancy The Division 2 is $44.99. That's a really good deal. I believe that's the first time I've seen that game discounted on the PlayStation Store, and The Division 2 is an excellent game. Ubisoft did a really good job with that title, and unlike The Division 1, The Division 2 right out of the gate is a very compelling game. Does it have its issues here and there? Sure, but this is a game that's just gonna get better and better over time and the game you already have there is very good so to see it get even better just like the division one did the division one started at a lower point and then it turned out to be a really good game the division two is starting out at a much higher point and i expect it to get better and better we already have a roadmap of free content that's coming to the game so 45 dollars for that if you were disappointed by anthem and you need another multiplayer experience to play with a couple of friends the division two will definitely fit the bill and you will have a great time with that game not a steep discount at 25 percent off but given that the game just came out, not a bad price for it either. Rayman Legends is 75% off for $9.99, so that's pretty good. Thought that was a really great platformer that was the follow-up to Rayman Origins. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like these games have really resonated at the mainstream level. However, Rayman Legends is a really good game. And if you want a charming platformer, that's definitely worth a buy. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildland Standard Edition, 70% off for $14.99. That's pretty good. That's another game that Ubisoft has kept updated, so that's definitely worth a buy. A couple of other games are on sale. The South Park titles are on sale. You got a lot of bundles as well. I see the South Park, the video game collection. That includes the Stick of Truth and the Fraction, but hold for $32. That's not all too bad. You've got a bundle on Watch Dogs 1 and 2, the gold editions of both. You've got the gold edition for Watch Dogs 2. That's available for $30. There's a couple of Assassin's Creed bundles as well. Most notably, I would recommend the Assassin's Creed Odyssey Gold Edition. That includes Assassin's Creed Odyssey, the base game, and then it includes the Season Pass as well. And the Season Pass, of course, includes Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered. Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered was released as a standalone game for $40. That bundle is $33. You get AC Odyssey, you get the Season Pass, which includes a lot of additional content for AC Odyssey, and then you get AC 3 Remastered as well. So that's another one where, yeah, I'll leave you guys to figure that one out. I do see the Assassin's Creed The Legendary Collection, which includes a bunch of Assassin's Creed games. That's $90. That released at $200, which was just crazy. The Antiquity Pack, which includes Origins and Odyssey, is $35, which actually isn't all too bad. I just noticed that the Division 2 uh, Special Editions are on sale as well. The Ultimate Edition is down to $90. The Gold Edition is down to $75, if you want to look at that. For Honor Marching Fire Edition is available for $24. Not a bad price on that, however... That has been available physically on Newegg for 10 bucks. 10 bucks for that game is absolutely insane. But if you did want it on the PlayStation Store, that isn't a bad buy. The Crew 2 is available for $18. Far Cry Primal is available for $15. See AC Rogue in there for $15. I believe Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag is on sale. Yes, that is $12. We have seen that a little bit cheaper. Again, it seems like some of these games are priced higher than they normally are. 
but there are some hidden gems that I would recommend. Valiant Hearts of the Great War is also down to $5.99. Another game that's been cheaper. That's been $4.49 before. So I don't know what's up with that. They should have just dropped the price to their lowest that they typically go. But nonetheless, would recommend titles such as The Division 2. The South Park games aren't bad buys. Assassin's Creed Odyssey Gold Edition is definitely a good buy. A couple of sleeper hits in there, but a lot of the prices are very questionable, especially coming off the sales where some of these games were literally available for a cheaper price and a significantly cheaper price of that. All right, a couple of other deals I do want to know. Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age is available for $14.88 over on Amazon. That is a great buy on FF12. This is a game that just got ported to the Nintendo Switch and Xbox One, so now it's available on just about every platform, but FF12 I thought was a very good game. A game that was received a little bit mixed back when it came out because the gameplay was a lot different, played more like an MMO, so that was a little bit off-putting to people back in the day. However, at this point, it is received as one of the better Final Fantasy games. However, do be mindful of the fact that it has one of the lesser likable Final Fantasy main characters. Vaughn is just not a very good main character. However, that's not to say that Final Fantasy XII doesn't have a quality cast of characters. There are characters like Ash, Botch, Balfir that are incredibly compelling. However, considering that Vaughn takes the helm of the story, that was a little bit of a disappointing element. Not to say he's a terrible character, but a very generic zero to hero archetype. And even then, he's not all too likable. So that was a little bit unfortunate. But overall, I would say the game's very good and for $14.88 worth a buy. Quantic Dream Collection is also available for $29 would give that a strong recommendation. That includes Detroit Become Human, Heavy Rain, and Beyond Two Souls. You're paying, what, essentially $9 in change for each of those games, and that's pretty good. Should be noted that Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls were PlayStation Plus games in the past, so some of you guys might already have the game through that. But if you didn't snag those up while they were Plus games and all three of these games are new to you, hey, this is a really good buy. Detroit Become Human is still a relatively recent release. I mean, it came out, what, just a year ago? So to get that and two other games for $29, not a bad buy. For those of you that want a new PlayStation 4 copy, console or you're looking to buy the console for a friend or a family member, whatever the case may be, PlayStation 4's 1TB Marvel Spider-Man bundle is down to $200 over on GameStop. That includes the console as well as a copy of Marvel Spider-Man. Don't need to sell you too much on this bundle. It's a great bundle. You get the console, a 1TB console, and you get Marvel Spider-Man, one of the best exclusives on the PlayStation 4. Don't think that's too much of a hyperbolic statement. Sure, that game did have some issues, but Insomniac has set a phenomenal foundation for Spider-Man, and of course, there are going to be future games as well. And it's one of the most recognizable PlayStation 4 exclusives at this point alongside God of War Uncharted 4, and I would say that it's a must-own, and to get that and the console for $200, definitely a good buy. And lastly, as far as the deals are concerned, you've got a Western Digital Elements portable 2TB external hard drive for those of you guys that need some more storage space on your PlayStation 4. $42 for that. It is refurbished. However, you shouldn't have any issues with a refurbished unit and two terabytes of additional storage space. That's pretty great given that some of these games these days I point to are Red Dead Redemption 2, Fallout 76. Those games are absolutely enormous in file size and having an additional two terabytes is very nice. So $42 for that is pretty great. Okay, as far as free stuff, a Puyo Puyo Champions has a theme and avatar set over on the PlayStation Store. We'll leave a link to that in the description box below. The bundle set contains a theme and a set of five avatar images from Puyo Puyo Champions. You've got the Puyo Puyo Champions theme, the Amite avatar, the Carbuncle avatar, the Dark Prince avatar, the Shizo avatar, as well as the Sig avatar. So all of those are available. Pretty charming set of avatars and a theme. Thought I would mention it. It's free. Might as well add it to your library. I know Puyo Puyo isn't the most recognizable IP in the world, but nonetheless, I thought that was worth a mention. And lastly, PlayStation Now has gotten its May update, a significant update at that, adding 8-bit armies, Batman Arkham Knight, which is pretty significant, Brawl Out, Dangerous Golf, Lego Ninja Go, the movie video game, Majin and the Forsaken Kingdom, that's a PlayStation 3 title. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance Ultimate Edition is being added, so it looks like they're really trying to get the entirety of Metal Gear on there. You've got Miko Gako, Montagatari, Kaide Episode, that's PlayStation 4. Sherlock Holmes, The Devil's Daughter, and Tales of Zestiria. That was available as a PlayStation 3 offering on PS Now, but now you've got the PlayStation 4 version of the game, meaning that it's directly downloadable to your PS4. So that's great. PlayStation Now continues to become more and more of a compelling service. Unfortunately, that price point is still a little bit of a barrier. $19.99 a month is quite expensive. If they dropped it to $10 a month or even $15 a month, that would be great. At times, you do see it on sale. I saw a great deal on it one time, a year subscription for $60. Unfortunately, it was available for a little bit of time. Readily, I do see it go on sale for $80 for a year subscription. So if you see it at that price point, it's definitely worth a buy. But if you're going month to month paying $20 a month, that's just too expensive and I would not not recommend that. However, another sizable update for that service. And that's going to conclude this video. Again, the Ubisoft Publisher sale is running right now. Great deals on FF12, Quantic Dream Collection, PlayStation 4, 1TB Spider-Man Bundle, 
two terabyte external hard drive, Puyo Puyo Champions theme and avatar set, and PlayStation Now has gotten yet another significant update. That's gonna conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.